Hello everyone! Welcome to Math and Magic. Hello students, I am Sir Tok and I will be your online tutor. So for today's lesson, I will discuss addition of integers. At the end of this video, you should be able to define what is an integer, add integers with same and different sign, and answer real life problems related to integers. So if you have your pen and notebook with you, let's get started. Before dealing with addition and subtraction of integers, let us define it first. Integers are signed whole numbers. Signed in a sense that numbers can be represented as a positive, a negative, or a neutral zero. Whole numbers meaning there should be no decimal value and numbers are not written in fraction form. Now illustrating integers in a number line, being zero at the center, all positive values are found on the right side of zero. Meanwhile, all negative values are found on the left side of zero. Some examples of positive integers in real life may involve students adding a class, distance above sea level, price increase, calories gained, added points, temperature above zero, and profit. Meanwhile, for negative integers in real life, it may involve students dropping a class, distance below sea level, price decrease, calories lost, points deducted, temperature below zero, and deficit. Now to better understand the concept of addition of integers, I want you to imagine yourself in the middle of a building. The place where you are standing is let's say your reference position, which may imply zero. Whenever you want to walk upstairs, each step will be represented as positive integers. Conversely, downstairs are the negative ones. Now from zero, if you are asked to walk three steps upstairs, one, two, and three, and another two steps going up, one, two, then your position now is on the positive five value. This into numbers would mean zero plus three plus two is equal to five. In this case, you may disregard zero since it doesn't have a value. Similarly, if you are asked to walk two steps downward from your uh, initial position, two steps downward, and another step going down, your new position will be on the negative 3 value. In equation, this would be equal to negative 2 plus negative 1, which will be equal to negative 3. Moreover, if the direction varies, let's say you are asked to walk 4 units upward, so 1, 2, 3, and 4, then ask again to walk 8 steps downward, so going down means 1, 2, 3, 4, the initial, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Your position now is on the negative 4 value. In number equation, this will be positive 4 plus negative 8, which is equal to negative 4. Now, things to remember when adding integers. For integers with same sign, meaning both are positive or both are negative, we will simply add the numbers or their absolute values and then copy the sign. 
If the two integers are both positive, the sum should also be positive. If they are both negative, then the sum should also be negative. Now, for integers with different sign, one is positive, the other one is negative, or vice versa, you need to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger. Then prefix or copy the sign of the number with higher absolute value. Now, let's try these examples. Now time for our daily dose of math. The question will be from Math Challenge Questions Booklet. Now you can buy this at the National Bookstore. Uh, since the lesson I discussed earlier is about integers, let's try to answer a 15 second question. Item number 2. What is the product of the first four even positive integers? Take note. Even integers are integers or numbers which are divisible by 2, including 0. But in this case, since the question only asks for positive integers, we will disregard 0. So in the lesson presented earlier, 0 is neither positive nor a negative number. So we will have the numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8 to be multiplied. Now, there are three ways on how you could answer this question. First is by direct multiplication. Now, if you are quite good in performing arithmetic, you will just directly multiply 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, 2 times 4 is 8, times 6, that's 48, times 8, that's 384. Another way is using pairing. Let's say you paired up 2 and 4, 6 and 8. You will just multiply 8 and 48, which, we, which is also the same as 384. The third way is using primes or writing the numbers in terms of their primes. Say 2, that would be 2 raised to 1. 4 is 2 squared. 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is... 2 cubed or 2 times 2 times 2. Now those with similar bases, you may add their exponent since the operation is multiplication. So this is 2 raised to 7 times 3. Since 2 raised to 7 is equal to 128 times 3, the product is also 384. Now for our magic trick, you need an ordinary deck of playing cards. Now get only 21 cards. 1, 2, 3. Nineteen, twenty, twenty. 20. Ask your friend to pick one. After getting the 21 cards, ask your friend to pick one. So, for example, he or she chose seven of diamonds. Now, tell him to place the card anywhere in the deck. Make sure you are not looking to where he or she placed the card. 
Now shuffle the cards. Now tell him that you will pile the cards into three sets and in order to make the magic happens, he or she needs to point which set does his or her card belongs. Now this is the critical part. The set that you've, your friend pointed should always be placed in the middle of the three sets. Now do this three times. Place the card into three sets. Ask your friend which set is his or her card belongs. For example, this one. Get the set. And so as the remaining sets. Place the one in the middle which his or her card belongs. Now do this three times. Now after doing so, observe that the card chosen by your friend is always on the 11th place. Nine, ten, and this should be your friend's card. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something for our online tutorial for today. Now, if you have a request lesson, preferably from grades 1 to 10, you may comment down below the topic and we'll see if I could try to make a video on that. I'll see you next time.